Ooh, we are so close now. The PS5 is almost amongst us. I am so hyped and I know you guys are as well to play so many AAA titles such as Astro World. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. Get me some Spider-Man or some Demon Souls ASAP. I'm ready to play that. But let me know in the comments down below what games you guys are gonna play at launch because I'm actually struggling which one to choose first. What's up guys, this is Foster and Filtered back with another video and if you have not done so already then please do subscribe and hit that like button because it really does help this channel to grow and then it gives me a chance to bless your screens again, hopefully in the future. And you know, help your boy out, I want to move out the house, my mum is really getting all my tits. Sorry mum, please leave a nice comment in the video, hit that like button. Alright guys, peculiar title I know, but yes it is true. In this video, I'm going to be telling you the reasons why I've chosen my brand new PS5 over having a girlfriend. And before you say it, this was by choice. This was my decision. Kind of. Yeah, shut up. Right, I guess there's no need for that anymore. So, let's get this video started, shall we? It's overheating keeps me warm at night. Unlike my girlfriend that just hogs the blanket every night, leaving me to experience what can only be described as the slightest of unpleasantly cool breezes on my bare body. Is there anything more infuriating than being half covered by a blanket? But you know, that's not her fault. She's just being a woman. Yeah, I said it. I'm not apologizing. You people are blanket whores and you know it. Um, what's the next reason? Unconditional love. Nothing else needs to be said on that. You know who you are. Moving on. The PS5 is modern and swings both ways, you know, digital and the other one. When I want to insert my disc, she does not complain and act all surprised and say stuff like, I'm sleeping or I'm on the phone to my mother. God, your mother died two years ago. Wow. PS5 is always there for me and gets excited when I interact with her and literally lights up when she sees me. I mean, how many of your girlfriends can you say do that? Barring a power cut, of course. She has a smooth and curvy solid state drive that will never age and get worn out. And the PS5 will never need a break, even after relentless minutes of repeated rough pounding. <coughs> I'm in use. She actually turns off and shuts up when I ask her to. Game changer. Now, the PS5 is hard to get, which is similar to with a woman who's hard to get, such an attractive trait. As humans, we want what we can't have far more than the easy option. You know, like if we wanted the new Xbox. Oh, and the PS5 really is more elusive and harder to get than any girl ever. Just ask all the poor lads who couldn't get their PS5 pre-ordered. My heart feels for you boys. I'll leave a moment of silence when I'm playing mine on launch day. <laughs> Now, you guys know that soul-crushing feeling when you finally find the courage to speak to the woman of your dream, only for her to savagely reject you, leaving all your hopes and dreams of you two together dashed, leaving you in a puddle of your own filth in utter despair. Well, that's what it feels like to see the PS5 sold out again at another store. But at least with the PS5, there is another chance, another store. Hope remains. With dating and finding love, however... Well, let's just say I think it's futile, but I'm clearly damaged. Now she lets me know I'm in control with her groundbreaking controllers. Ooh, so sexy haptic feedback giving me tingles and vibrations when I perform well. Which oddly I never get with women. Maybe they're just shy. I'd honestly rather overpay for a PS5 than continue funding countless failed dates at restaurants and bars over a span of six weeks. That legitimately end up being about just as expensive. Well, I really need to stop dating, like fuck, no wonder I'm broke. These failed dates totally aren't my fault by the way. Now, for you tech nerds who are wondering where are all the facts and figures, well don't you worry your sweet little heads because this video has got you covered. Now her sound output is recorded as low as 40 decibel, even when playing behemoth games such as The Last of Us Part 2 and GTA 5. That's immensely quiet for those of you who have no clue what the fuck decibels are, which let's be honest is probably quieter than most of your girlfriends snoring or chewing anyway. And lastly, the most important reason why you should follow me and choose your PS5 over girls, probably shouldn't do this, unlike my ex-girlfriend, she doesn't judge me when I want to try something new and exciting in the bedroom, so I bend her over and insert my hard disk, if you know what I'm talking about, and I slide in, all lubed up, goat simulator, because that experience is very accurate to how goats experience and see the world.
Yeah, boys, so there you have it. The reasons why I'm choosing to sleep with my PS5. <coughs> Sorry, that's why I'm choosing my PS5 over having a girlfriend. Oh, God, I'm so lonely. Right, if you enjoyed that video, then please hit that subscribe button for me. It really does help support the channel. I know I've already said that today. But, um, yeah, as you can clearly see, I don't have a girlfriend, so I need your support. Oh, and let me know which PS5 games you're going to play at launch day because I'm shit clueless and don't know which one to play, which one to pick. So, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Peace.